Hello, my name is Ben Crawford and I'm the Fedora Nerd. Hello everyone, my name is Alison McDee. I'm Cheyenne Jane. I'm Cindy. Hello everyone, I'm Jasper. My channel is I Don't Say R. I am Alex, aka Sundry. I'm Phoebe from Weeby Nerdin. Hi, I'm just Greg. Hi, I'm Lewis, otherwise known as Schnoopy. My name is James Broski of Broski Blog Stuff. If there's one thing I can say for sure about myself, it's this. I'm different. 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 There are many things that make me different. For one, I'm a huge nerd. Two, I'm a huge guy. Three, I love to get together once a week with my friends and roll some dice. And I'm not afraid to share my opinion and to share my life. I'm different because I'm quiet. Some people say I'm weird. I don't know why people say that. I dress provocatively. Just because I want to. People don't like it. I'm the sort of person who does what they want, regardless of whether it's a popular idea or not. I'm a girl who's not really into girly things. I am nerdy. I like different music than most of the people that I know. I am not afraid to share my opinions, and I guess I'm just the sort of person who happens to go against the current a lot. I'm Romanian. I'm short. Some people who are 5'2 or 5'3 say that they're short, but I am, I'm very, I'm short. In case you can't read that, it says five feet nothing. There's a lot of things that make me different. Um, I, I guess the ones I'm most proud of um, are my, is my heritage. Um, my, my parents are a, a biracial couple. Um, my mom is white and my dad is black. Um, so I'm very proud of my heritage. I'm a geek and I'm proud of that. I, I enjoy the things that uh, make me happy. I stick out of the crowd, as you can see. I'm not the mainstream guy. <laughs> I got my own style, kind of. I am an overweight tomboy nerd who loves piercings, tattoos, and other overweight tomboy nerds. <laughs> I'm very sort of childlike, playful, creative. I like sort of. A lot of sci-fi, you know, anime, games, I'm just generally a child on the side, on the inside, and I love it. The cost of being different for me has been mostly people hating me and not even knowing me. Call me fat, calling me a nerd, call me a neckbeard, and I really don't care what people have to say about me. I only care what my friends and my true fans have to say about me. I went through a lot of bullying in school because of being different, and it was just a simple fact that I watched something and people tended to pick on that, they would make fun of it. And it's not nice. People would just sort of every day walk past me and say a phrase that's supposed to be an insult to the stuff I watch and stuff I like and it's not nice. It's it was horrible. I hated going to school every day because of it. What made it worse is some of my friends actually did it as well, which they were just, some were the ones who started it as well. My whole life growing up, uh, because I was a tomboy, I was caught and I was a overweight tomboy. Uh, I didn't really wear dresses. Um, I used to get called a butch lesbian a lot. Uh, even at my own wedding my mother announced saying that she thought I was a lesbian up until I was about 24 years of age. So that was fun. Most of the problems that I've had with people teasing me or making fun of me or that sort of thing happened when I was in middle school. People told me that I was ugly and gross. Girls in the locker room would tease me because I don't wear makeup or shave my legs. I like my body how it is, and honestly, I just don't care for some of society's standards of beauty. People call me names, I've had boys harass me, I've had friends ask me to sleep with them just out of the blue because they think I'm a short thing. I've had people just stand there and tell me what I'm wearing. It's like, I know. I was present for the putting on of the clothes. Well, it was tough. A lot of bullying, name calling, racist things especially. But it also helped me um, be a better person, evolve, mature. People will tell me, oh, you're isolating yourself to the world. You're antisocial. You might go crazy or something. That's just bad, isn't it? I just want to clear up. I'm not antisocial. I just don't like socializing that much. I can socialize them like it when there's so many people. It just gives me anxiety. I've always been mistaken for much younger than I actually am. 
And when your peers perceive you as being that much younger, you're not treated with the same respect. You're not taken as seriously. You are literally looked down upon. When I was 17, my mother introduced me to a relative I had never met before, and that relative asked me if I was excited to be starting junior high. She had mistaken me for my sister, who was five years younger. Especially as a teenager, that really hurts and is kind of insulting, and I ran to my room crying. To this day, I wish that people would understand that telling me that I look young isn't necessarily a compliment. I've been hearing it all my life, and it's made me have to work that much harder to gain the respect that other people my age just have. Because I was different, I got picked on and bullied at school. That wasn't that great, but I was who I am. I've had people, a lot of people, um, well, very, just unabashedly very, like, in my face, you know, just ask me, so what are you? You know, um, which is a little, it, 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 I don't know, I don't know, I don't usually know how to answer that question, because it's like, well, um, well, I'm a dude. Best way to be different is to own who you are. If you know who you are, you won't let anyone else tell you. You won't. If someone says, "Oh, you're fat. You're a nerd. You're stupid." You're like, no, I'm awesome. There will always be some sort of challenge or obstacle in life that you have to face. Life isn't about getting through the easy way. It's more about how you deal with these situations, which challenge you. If anyone thinks that because of what they like is a bad thing, don't, because I actually met so many good people through my interests, and I met my girlfriend through my interests, and I would never want to go back to a time when I didn't have her. If I didn't get into anime specifically, I would never have met my girlfriend and be as happy as I am right now, because I wasn't very happy before. The greatest thing about your differences is the fact that they make you who you are, and who you are is awesome. I think you should always embrace the things that make you different and you should definitely look inside yourself to find things that you really like about yourself. No matter what anyone tells you, always remember that you are fantastic. Stop acting different, start being yourself. Your true friends would accept you no matter what. That's a guarantee. Being different is something that you should cherish and you should be proud of and you should never think that being different is a flaw because being different is the most amazing thing you could ever be. Who wants to be the same as everyone else? I don't. Yes, I know being different sucks, but it's the thing that differentiates you with all the other people in the crowd. Also, smile while you still have teeth to smile with. You are awesome, just like everyone else, you're special, you're unique, and don't worry about what other people say. Because you're different, you are the best person in, in, in the whole universe. Whenever you're being picked on, whenever you're being ostracized, whenever you're being insulted, just remember, you're not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. You're not alone. You are not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone, dude. You are not alone. Whenever you're feeling down, whenever you're feeling like you can't keep going, just remember, you're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. You are awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Also, check out all the channels that were featured in this video. They have some awesome content too, and they're really great people. Go ahead and check them out.